group was founded uh, one year ago in August 2nd of the year 2005 and we must say that the first person that brought the Aztec dance to Philadelphia
where art is in the air, where taxi cab drivers tell you, oh, you're here to see the murals. Art is like oxygen. When you're there in Mexico City, you feel incredibly proud that here in Philadelphia, we are carrying on the tradition of creating murals, creating art for everyone, leveling the playing field about where art can be. And several years ago, Cesar Rivera, who is just an extraordinary muralist, came to me and he said that he had this dream and he wanted to celebrate Mexicans who are here in the city of Philadelphia, the Mexican immigrant community. He said this is a community that is growing, that is flourishing, and we need a mural that is going to pay tribute to my people. So I said, okay, that's great. What do we need to do? So first, what you need to do is you have to have additional funding. So we're so thankful to the United Way and to the city of Philadelphia. Last week, to see Cesar in the state capital in Carlsberg, where he uh, made an exposition about uh, his story, the way he traveled from our country, from Mexico, how he had uh, an idea, how he had a dream, how he wanted to, besides succeeding uh, in another country, he wanted to share his knowledge and share his passion for art, and uh, just came here and knocked on doors in our uh, uh, site that. Uh, Jane mentioned in Mexico City and to have a piece of art like this representing not only our uh, pre-Hispanic uh, inhabitants as the Maya Indians uh, from some pyramids and a uh, sculpture from Yachilan uh, that was mentioned in Cesar in the border of Guatemala but also our heroes, our artists and our performers to, tonight de lo que podemos ser. Seres humanos, no mexicanos latinos, hispanos o parte de un grupo étnico. Pensemos en el mosaico del que somos parte integral y que como tal no estamos, cuando no estamos incluidos, queda incompleto. Pensemos orgullosamente, con dignidad e integridad, en la superación y la realidad. To direct the mural art program of Philadelphia. All the staff who have been really helpful on the creation of this mural. Without this support, we wouldn't be able to do anything like this. And it's a reality that years ago, when I first came, and she gave me a chance to start painting murals, my life changed completely. It was a new chance that I have in life to, to start all over. And thank you very much, Jane, for having my assistant on this, on this project. I really want to thank you. Thank you. And of course, I have to mention everybody who was unofficial, but every weekend or on every hour that they have for free, they came to help me to do this um, the high relief that you see. And we don't have too many pieces like this, but in reality, it will be yeah. and starting the creation of a new race, and that was basically where we are. We took um, the European influence, and they also wanted to be our indigenous food. And that's why we see something that we can not deny. Um, I personally feel so proud that somehow we, we merge together. You have Virgin of Guadalupe, which original, originally was Virgin Mary, Virgin Maria. So for me, it was an, a sort of emigration because we adopt the image and we embrace the image. In the middle section, you see the national, national uh, symbol, uh, the eagle on top of the, the cactus, and the cactus is on the, on the island. And this represents the migration of the Aztec people when they came from the north part of, of Mexico and then came to the valley of Mexico and already there were other cultures and they had to face also discrimination and they, they knew what immigration was about back there even uh, 700 years ago and until they artifacts, the construction and all these achievements that they did on Mesoamerica. The big image on um, on your right side, uh, this little young girl, Berenice, who is part of the, the dance on Nancy Cotlique. I, I want her to, I want to have her like really big. I want her, this figure to stand out because of life, as well as Dr. Castillo, um, she represents like the very end part of the cycle of life. She represents the beginning. And that's, I do truly believe that that's how most of the Mexicans that I know and many Mexicans that I haven't um, had the opportunity to meet yet, that would be the, the same feeling that when you decide to come to the United States, 
regardless of the situation that pushed you to come that, here. That made me feel proud that William Pence made very clear that this land was for the oppressed people and people who wanted to come here, they were looking for freedom, they were looking for happiness, happiness, not, nothing else. Happiness and that's a universal right that we all deserve. By being here, we feel free and we feel happy and I want to thank all the Americans who opened their arms and embraced every single Mexican. I recognize my culture and I finally agree with him that um, Mexicans really have to show who they are and what they feel in their culture in Philadelphia because mostly you look and there's um, Mexicans everywhere. There's Mexicans in New Jersey, Philly, North Philly, South Philly. And um, um, I would like to thank them very much for including me here. And as you can see, you also um, see a lot of the things that I represent. Uh, Daniel, Emily, and um, Brian, I, I, I love doing this, you know. It gets me into someone that I'm not, when I'm, when I'm doing, when I'm doing this, I just feel like someone different. I feel like, you know, I'm flying. I feel like in a different world. I feel like expressing myself how I feel and what I am. And um, I'd like to thank him very much.